The regular session of the Alabama legislature began this week, and the first bill considered in the Alabama House Judiciary Committee, HB1, addresses fentanyl trafficking. And that's where we begin News 19 at 5 today. Thank you for joining us. I'm Christine Killemeyer. Jerry Hayes is on assignment. The measure sponsored by Baldwin County Area Representative Matt Simpson would establish mandatory minimum sentences for trafficking fentanyl. Fentanyl is an extremely powerful synthetic opioid, a painkiller that can be deadly when consumed in even very small amounts. News 19 investigative reporter Dallas Parker joins us now in the studio with where things stand at this point. That's right. A big part of this legislative effort is tied to how much fentanyl has evolved as a threat in Alabama communities. The bill sponsor says after learning there was no mandatory minimum sentence for fentanyl trafficking in the state, he began drafting this legislation. Now the bill is a step closer to passage after gaining bipartisan support in the House Judiciary Committee Wednesday. Now it's up for consideration in the Senate Judiciary Committee. Simpson said the point of the bill was not to go after low-end drug users, but people who are trafficking this deadly drug. To that end, the focus on the bill is not fentanyl found in other drugs, but single component or uncut fentanyl. Simpson pointed out a lethal dose of fentanyl is two milligrams. A sweet and low packet is a gram enough to kill 500 people, Simpson said. Now the bill creates a mandatory minimum sentence of three years for possession of four to less than 14 grams of fentanyl, 10 years for possession of 14 to less than 28 grams and a $100,000 fine and 28 then 60, 56 grams would result in a 25 year minimum, $500,000 fine. Now 56 grams or more would be equivalent to life in prison. Simpson, a former prosecutor stressed that fentanyl is not like other drugs, that the fear is not hype. He said it's not like the marijuana scares of decades ago, cocaine in the 1980s or meth in the 2000s. It's far more deadly. Christine. 